Okay, so this these are my current skates that I skate in the park, park skating. These are my jacks. And I'm going to show you how to attach disco blocks, but also show you how I painted this with acrylic. So this is the one that's finished, and this is the one I'm going to paint and then a, um, put on the disco block and show you like the process of that. Uh, I used regular acrylics, so just these so i used this one and i mixed it with white to get more of a lighter color and then the turquoise and the pink and then i seal it with an acrylic sealer i used this tape so that i could put it here and here just to be safe when i sprayed because i don't want to get any of the spray under here since that's where i slide and i didn't want to mess with it at all i only painted like you know for aesthetic purposes so only the sides and not the bottom because um well that's where i slide and stall and all that and yeah I don't, it's gonna get scraped off if i did so let me show you this process and yeah <laughs> I love you, but I'm not sure Tragic love just might be what I've been looking for Tie me up in chains, whip me like a dog Whip me till I'm black and blue And maybe, baby, I'll love you Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to put everything back so first, you put the blocks back on, and then this long part, the open part, you put that on the end. So you put it like this. And then the disco blocks came with its own cushions, so I removed the ones I originally had, and then I have the reactor neo plate, so I put in the ones that in came included. Make sure you're in the frame. Am I? Yes. Okay. And then I have the trucks. Oops. The trucks with another of these thingies. And the wheels still up together. So carefully. I'll just add that on top make sure it goes into the little pivot cup area and put the cushion on top Cool, so I just added all of that. And then the reactor neo plates are a little bit different from the other plates I've had where I've been able to use a Y tool, but the bolt here, this nut thingy, isn't like the nuts that are on the wheel. It's a different one, it's like this wider one with <laughs> these little lines. Um, so I used this tool that I just had available like I already had it I forgot for what but it fits the size of the nut so first I add this thingy 
I don't know if it's for reinforcement for these kind of plates because they do have this. I don't know if you can see it. Let me check. You see how it's not just like a circle. It's like little lines here. So all of the little pieces of this are compatible. So you could see it here. So the little ribbed part goes on the bottom, but if you don't have, uh, what is it called? If you don't have a reactor needle plate, it would be the same process. So cushions, um, trucks, wheels if you separated them, and then the other cushions, and then the the nut. And then the tightness here depends on your comfort or your preference. I kind of feel like I used to tighten it all the way. Like I thought that gave me security. But then since I mostly do park seating, it changed everything once I loosened it up. But right now I'm just gonna tighten it up a little bit since I'm really putting them back on. And so you could see that I have to use this, this tool because the white tool isn't wide enough for for this size it's a little bit more inconvenient because you have to keep resetting it in there but I also really really like these plates so I feel like it's worth it alright so this is how it looks at the end um, these are both my skates. I have them a little bit dirty because, why well, I mostly use them at the park. And I took out the toe caps or toe guards because I think they look prettier without. I just need to do a cleanup of these. Um, but they're going to get dirty anyway. And like I said, this is just for aesthetic. Uh, I think they're going to end up chipping off eventually. Uh, in the past, I have used spray paint. So the CIB ones I had... Wow. The CIB ones I had were spray painted and they chipped off super easily like nail polish when you chip it off and it just comes off. Uh, these I am not sure how long they'll hold up but like I said it's just aesthetic purposes and I don't mind if it chips off eventually because I'm, I'm meant to wear out my skates anyway. And yeah, I'm really happy with how they look. I don't know if the next thing I want to customize is paint this. I would have to buy sandpaper to send this all down um, or also I would want to do this part because it's all white but we'll see I really like how my skates look as of now and these blocks are amazing these are my favorite ones but I am going to try the new wild bones blocks that are coming out the bigger ones I don't know if you've seen them but but these have been my number one for a while now